Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create a configuration file and how to also update configuration file in Odoo version 17. And in case you missed previous discussion about introduction about the command line interface, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo development. And once you click here, you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe this channel. It will help me a lot. All right. So let's back to our main topic, like how we can generate a configuration file. So here, uh, let me clear the locks. And now you can see, I want to active the Odoo service in my terminal. I have to compulsory use these three command this is the first time i'm using this one but sometimes what happened i have to also use more commands let's say the minus d or do like the db name right then after the http port or oh, let's say the xml rpc port 8069 right and then after the so on so here if i'm working with the multiple projects in a different or two versions so this is not a good idea to always remember all the commands for the specific project right so due to that like odoo also provide a good feature which is the configuration file so here in this case if you want to create a configuration file right then it is very easy so let's say odoo add-ons minus r weblands minus w weblands right once i will active the odoo service you can see here this auto configuration file automatically override in the home directory right but this is the created by odoo and which is the hidden file right but now in our case we are trying to create a new configuration file so for that let's say python okay so let me go to here ls here you can see uh, there is no any single configuration file available right here and now I'm trying to create in the current directory one configuration file. So for that, like I will try to use like Python or do dash bin. After I will use here minus s. Okay. After that, I will use here minus c. Minus c means the configuration file. So here I'm giving like weblands.config. After I will use here some some CLI commands. Let's say the add-ons path. Let's say add-ons odoo dask addons right and once i will restart start the odoo service you can see it will automatically create this file the weblands in the current directory okay and here you can see still the odoo service automatically running right once i will exit from the service and once i will use the ls command you can see this weblands.config file automatically created by Odoo. Now let's say what it is right inside this configuration file. So once I will open from this text editor, you can see here like all the common commands having a default values, right? So here we use here the add-ons path. So we use generally like this, right? Odoo add-ons and then after directly add-ons. So what Odoo does is it we, it's using the physical full path here, okay? After that, you can see the admin password. So this is the master password of the database. You don't need to worry about it at the moment. This is encrypted. You cannot change, right? Uh, I will try to also give you the explanation what it is and how you can also override. Don't worry. And after that, you can see here in the DB name is the false and DB password is also false, right? So in this case, we already created a new file from the terminal, right? Now the thing is, let's say how you can also override the configuration file. So there is a two ways you can do. Directly, you can go to the configuration file and edit the specific uh, command and values or oh, let's say you can also add a new commands in the below end of the line that is also fine it's up to you the second one is the same here let's say here i'm using the same command let me clear so let's say i'm using like this right but instead of this one 
I'm using here minus R weblands and minus W weblands. So this is my database username and password to interact with the Postgres, right? And here you can see the DB name and DB password right now it's a false, correct? Now once I will active the Odoo service, you can see in the terminal, right? You can see still it's like this DB name false and password false, right? So once I close here and reopen here, you can see the password is weblands and the user is also the weblands, right? Why? Because we use here these two commands minus s which is the save actually and where so we mention here the configuration file if you didn't use here the minus c right this configuration still you are using minus s so it's save in the default configuration file which is using by the odoo okay now again you can see still the odoo service is active once i'm going to front end and refresh the screen you can see odoo service is active but let's say once the configuration file updated or let's say create automatically this auto service automatically shut down right so for that you can use stop after init so once i'm trying to enter the key and active the auto service now you can see they they are using this weblands configuration file the path right auto addons path and after that it's save you can see the Odoo automatically shut down, right? And once I'm going to front end and refresh the screen, you can see here you are offline. So this is the way you can create configuration file or let's say you can also update the configuration file. One more thing, let's say here I'm using like this, right? After that, like I'm using here XML RPC port 8099, let's say 99. So I want to also save this port number to this configuration file. So first thing is I have to use minus s, right? And then after I will use, I will, I have to also mention this configuration file. After that, like I'm using this command. One more thing is I don't want to use here minus r and minus w the next time. Once I'm going to enter the key and active the service you can see automatically shut down and i will check here the by default the port number is changed you can see here http port 8099 so let's say once i will active the service right And once I'm going to here, once I will refresh the screen, you can see still you are offline. Why? Because we are using here 8069. But instead, I'm using here 8099. And you can see it's working fine. So like this way, you can change the configuration file of the Odoo. Or let's say you can also create your own configuration file, right? The multiple configuration file for multiple projects. So the best thing is, here why i'm giving you this demo is let's say sometimes the add-ons path the custom add-ons path is different in each and every project right and due to that like you don't want to maintain also here like all the commands you don't need to remember i mean r w minus d so what it is don't worry about all these commands i will explain in our further session one by one but let's say while you active the service or the service right then you just need to remember only one configuration file and once you active you can refresh the screen and it's working fine so you don't need to remember all the commands in the terminal so this is the best way to create a configuration file. If you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session. And our next session would be the useful Odoo URLs you have to remember.